Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Some talents involved with the agency of the person who uh, spiked the drinks of more than one is what I'm assuming. More than one different liver vtuber singer female woman whatever person that was there artist that was around them because if he's done it if he's done it once and he got caught he's done it before where he hasn't gotten caught that's what i always want to put into your brains people like this do this a lot people like this do this until they get caught and they got caught right now this person right here personally is just a singer involved with yem which is the studio that the yab person was involved with the yab person is uh the yabai person is uh was a part of and uh you know the apologies and everything like that popped out recently and it is unfortunate that any of this even happened because it should have never happened but you can't really stop things that you don't ever expect the issue that was happening with this person, the Koharu Yem, is Y E M, is that they are being uh, like. There's rumors apparently according to this. Let's see what's happening. You, to all our fans and everyone involved, thank you all for worrying about me. Uh, thank you very much. We are very sorry for any inconvenience caused. I have no involvement in the current matter involving the Y E M office representative. I really didn't know anything. Sorry for my ignorance. I'm truly sorry. Uh, currently, lies are being spread about me, and I'm unable to understand or resolve various issues or respond to slander. I would like to take a short break from social media. Truly sorry that I have to take time off during this turmoil and I'm causing anxiety to those around me. So what my guess is, is what ends up happening in a lot of these situations, especially with innocent people, they are not seen as being so innocent. So a lot of times what ends up happening is that they are seen as you had to have known you were a part of this group. You had to have known that this guy was doing this creepy stuff. No. It's very hard for anybody, especially just people around the the office, to know what someone is doing. And remember, some of these things happened in a home office. Some of these things happened in a home rec recording studio that he had at his house or a personal residence of someone that he knew. So it is not something that a singer, a person just involved in the organization, even a CEO or someone even above him would have any clue of. The only people who would know would be the people who he recently sent those messages to where he got caught and uh, people that were maybe in the same room, which from what I know and what has been disseminated out there, he was the only one in that room with those other people. So there is probably very few others who have any clue of what's going on and what went on. So don't bother people who are a part of the agency. Just blame the person who has done it. The agency probably has no clue and still do others. Others probably have no idea what's going on as well, other than what has been reported in the news and been reported by channels like myself. We have a story about Etna and Bonavir. Etna is, I believe she used to be a part of what used to be Niji Sanji ID. Now she's just Niji Sanji JP. As you know, they've all been pretty much transferred over to that section of Niji Sanji. And uh, she is talking about right now the friendship that she has with Bonavir, who they've had for very many, very many years while they were in Niji Sanji. And it seems like still while they're outside. I believe this is her talking about her meeting Bonavir outside, like at a different point in time. I don't know if this is before or after he graduated because he's no longer there. Let's take a, let's take a listen. <laughs> <laughs> I I met on Bonnie. <laughs> and I met him on Bonnie, guys. Yes. Yes, I met him. <laughs> I met him on the anniversary date. Yes. And I'm not going to go to the next one. I'm not going to go to the next one. So, yeah. <laughs> She's mentioned that she met him. Yes, yes. Mm hmm. She basically mentions that she met him, you know, probably they went and talked a bit, they had fun. Uh, she's speaking in a native language as well, which is fine, uh, because I believe this is for the people who follow her. And a lot of people who follow her are in Indonesian or in that Southeast Asia region, so they would understand her more. I think this is less of an English stream. Of course, it has some English and um, other language mixed in, uh, so it is hard for me to fully understand. Hopefully we have some Indonesians in the chat in the uh, down in the description that can kind of give you a bit 
better of a rundown. I apologize. I don't think there's actually any actual closed captioning. There's closed captioning in Indonesian, as you can see here, but uh, I don't think there's any auto translate to English. Maybe we can possibly get something. <laughs> Treated the fish. He's eating burger. Let's go, guys. Yes. Sadly, I didn't meet. Uh, I didn't meet Tessiska karena yeah, nggak sempat. <laughs> we didn't meet. So didn't meet because they didn't have time. So yeah, she's talking about them meeting together. They ate burgers. They ate other things like that. So just having a good time with each other, which is the best way for things to go when it comes to either former or current Needy Sandy Livers. As long as they're having fun and they're enjoying themselves, then I just leave them be. I just report what's out there. I have covered this VTuber before. I think I even covered it when it came out, or at least I talked about it on stream when it came out. Uh, Bunny GF uh, was a VTuber. Was, I say, Bunny GIF was a VTuber because they left the VTuber community after the big amount of drama that happened with them. What was that drama? Layla Lazar put it out there. Uh, just the gist of what I understood from Layla's is that there was inappropriate touching. There was inappropriate contact and, um, you know, always laying on her lap, always, you know, trying to, you know, squeeze her butt cheeks and things like that. From what I understand, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the comments. These are all the accusations that came out. Of course, these are just accusations because no police report was made. But having said that, I tend to believe Lena. Lena has never proven to be anyone who does anything just for clout. Lena has never, in my viewing of her, because I've, I've been following her for a bit, never been the type of person to just bring out stuff like this just to harm someone else they in fact usually try to stay quiet and try are, are pretty reserved about a lot of these things but i'm glad they came out and they shot back at somebody who was basically being a bit of a predator in the community they were also bunny jiff was also accused again i say accusations because there were no police reports as far as i know so you can only treat these as accusations no matter how much evidence is behind them if there is no law that says they are proven to be that way in you know legally all you can say is that it's alleged legally all you can say is that it's accusations i know it sounds like a cop-out but that is legally all i can say that is an accusation that is an allegation that none of this was proven in a court of law and you know you make your own decisions on what is being said but there's also been accusations out there of bunny gif mistreating their partner their girlfriend uh in the sense of emotional manipulation and other things such as that gaslighting and other things that can harm someone emotionally and psychologically there was psychological harm uh that was accused of bunny gift doing psychological harm on a partner at the time and that's why they split up and they are trying to move back into vtubing because as you know uh a busty female vtuber like her will uh ha was very popular she was very popular and will continue to be very popular because she is more lewd than most others that i know of like when she was a uh vtuber she was pretty out there and uh, those types of things do tend to be pretty popular it just seems like a cash grab for her though it seems like hey it's been two years since these accusations came out maybe somebody will forget maybe the, the community will forget and maybe i can get out there and make some money and have my community back and all these different things because of the fact she just left it just poof i'm thinking this is more of a money grab this is my opinion of course this is what I'm seeing. This is what it feels like. It's more of a money grab for her. Going back into the community, not because she loves it, but it feels like it is a money grab. If she truly didn't do these things, she would have never left the VTuber community. If she truly didn't do these things, she would have fought, at, fought against it and not just capitulated and not just left the VTuber community, become an IRL streamer, uh, an IRL lewd tuber, whatever lewd streamer, as you would call them, uh, and do that type of content only to try to come back. This is, again, just my opinion. And as a little bit of an addendum to this, for those of you who are wondering about uh, who Lena Lazar is, this was her post about the whole situation in uh, 2022 when it happened, March 17th. And here is her video, Lena's Truth About Bunny GIF, that she puts, put out there. This is all on her Twitter. You can search it on her Twitter. And uh, this is where she has, it's an unlisted video, so you won't be able to find it when you look on YouTube. Uh, so you're going to have to actually have the link, which she has on her Twitter status. So you just look up, you can, you know, do Google and look up this part and you can most likely find it if you do want to actually search for it. 
The memes, Mason, what do they mean? And we are going back into the meme culture, into the meme minds. Take a look at what people are saying. Uh, of course, uh, you have the Tangled, Disney's Tangled, where Vivi and Nidhi Sanji, uh, Nidhi Sanji sent in zero interactions. Live or terminated, Black Stream, Disrespect++, plus plus. and look what you've done. Yeah, right, it's always someone else's fault, of course. Uh, the Black Stream, uh, looking at, like, Doki in that case. WTF, Nidhi Sanji, the fandom, yes, the pe people in the fandom are like, what the hell's going on here? Of course, the sub could always use more memes. Always good to have more memes. And this is a tangled one for you guys in Nidhi Sanji related. A bit of a shorter one, we have Shi Icho, who is a part of Production Kawaii's second generation, has now reached 100k. And they have their plaque at home, which is something that Kawaii, Production Kawaii, Idol EN, Idol JP, uh, all the people in Idol in general, uh, Face Connect, other small agencies, Aka Virtual, pretty much almost every agency other than Niji Sanji or maybe VNU, uh, give their plaques to their libraries. It seems like VNU and Niji Sanji are, are one of the ones that don't. If, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this person got their 100k play button and still can't believe it. Thank you for all your love and support. You will always be the reason I keep streaming. Thank you for being the best, uh, fellas, this little gal could ask for. Love you. And of course, like I said, this is this is her stuff. Of course, people are saying thank you. Like, congratulations, congratulations. Omedato. Uh, she to the moon. Congratulations, you cute made she. Cheers always to all your hard work on and off stream. Never stop being the amazing you. Congrats, happy to, to be one of 100k partners. Partners with pause. Uh, so yeah, people are having celebration here as she should. She should have a celebration when it comes to all this stuff. So of course, take a look at her channel and take a look and see if any of that content is something you enjoy. P Maru, who is an Utaite, basically a singer. And of course she does skits, other things. She is an interesting VTuber overall, uh, Japanese origin, of course, and Japanese speaking. She has hit a huge milestone. She has over 800,000 followers on Twitter. And she has celebrated her 3 million milestone, her 3 million subscriber milestone. So okay to do an emergency live broadcast on YouTube. So yeah, they're doing emergency live broadcast because they hit it. Of course, it's crazy. It's crazy for anybody to hit that. And of course, as I'm saying before, the YouTuber mostly does comedy skits. However, she also is occasionally with Utaite. She recently, uh, from my memory, went on uh, Marine, uh, on Marine's uh, live, the most recent memory that I have of her going on in a Hollow Life thing and you know had her fun there with them and of course going on <laughs> so, she's having fun she's showing her youtube stuff she's just having fun with her community this is always great of course congratulations to pimaru a lot of people that are in my comment sections already know who pimaru is a lot of people who watch me already know who pimaru is but for those who don't you can go and check her out. She does a lot of comedy skits. I don't know if they're translated or not, but she has, you know, some physical comedy, that type of stuff. So she does a lot of wonderful content that has resonated with a lot of people on YouTube and has gotten her to the heights where she is now. Three million subscribers. Big congratulations to her. VNU is releasing their third music video. We are traveling on September 8th, 7 p.m. Uh, VNU, if I'm not mistaken, is the same one who tried to make someone pay for over $400,000 when they left, uh, Amano Serafi, if I'm not mistaken, was a part of VNU. If this is the same agency, of course, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. I believe it's that South Korean agency that tried to do that with one of their talents. And right now, they are currently Alien Mixture, which is doing really well on her channel. They releasing a third music video. The people, remember, the people involved in this music video are not at fault for anything that VNU has done in the past. Let's take a look. We are traveling. This is uh, their talents here in VNU. And here is their uh, Twitter about the whole thing. New music video coming up. It's going to be September 8th at 7 p.m. Nine talents have isekai'd into the special stage. We're excited to invite you with this ticket. Find your Oshi on the ticket. Third music video, we are traveling. And it is, uh, you know, doesn't have any actual people reacting to it. It has only gotten a couple of like 5,000 views but it is VNU official VTuber agency that is the one doing this. And any type of support that happens for uh, any of their group is welcome, of course. And like I said, the talents themselves should not be marked down for what happens in their agency. Same thing I've said for Nidhi Sanji and other agencies. Of course, it sucks when they are part of an agency like that because it's hard to support them. 
but at the very least, don't denigrate them when uh, things like this happen. So yeah, I wish them luck. I wish success in their next music video. And if it's an entertaining one, then of course watch. Ariana Foxton explains how to use Sky Follower Bridge to find who you follow on Twitter and use their names to find them on Blue Sky. Blue Sky is, if I'm not mistaken, again, correct me if I'm wrong, Jack Dorsey, the, the founder of Twitch, Twitter, I mean, Twitter, created uh, Blue Sky afterwards, after he sold it to Elon Musk, and uh, try to, you know, basically make what Twitter was in the past and not what it is right now. Right now, it's pretty much a cesspool of stuff. Twitter's been a cesspool for years. It's continuing to be a cesspool, and it's gotten even worse with Musk, as according to what a lot of people think. So a lot of YouTubers have been leaving, and they're moving to Blue Sky. So what they're trying to do here, this uh, Sky Follower Bridge lets you know who on Blue Sky has similar name to maybe someone that you were following in the past, and maybe allow you to follow them in the future. Because, of course, when you move on to a new place, you do, if you can, you want to follow the people you followed in the past. Uh, it, whether it be, you know, moving to YouTube, moving to Twitch, moving to any of those places, Rumble, Kick, etc. You want to see if any of your people that you were following are, follow are, are actually on there. And this is a good option for those trying to move to Blue Sky. They even made a video on it so you can check out their Twitter and take a look at all that stuff. Welcome back to my VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give back to VTubers and the VTuber community who has been so gracious and so great to me. Give back the love as I always say. Cream Soda is a narwhal, which is basically a narwhal otter, it looks like, who want to bring diabetes to everyone with all the sweetness, of course. And do you recognize me? This is their... their second debut that they're going to have in this they're basically their new outfit is going to be debuted it's going to be on 10 10 24. their current one that they're using right now is this <laughs> this one here it. right there that's like the, the cute one it's being it's very cute and it's going to be an actual full-on life 2d model i believe that's going to be used this has been a long time in the making as all life 2d models are let's take a look at the about section that they have here just a city not water one thinks she wants cream soda uh, this is more about me. Cream soda, your nar water with a cherry on top. Let's spread diabetes to the world with all the sweetness. And that's her cute little model there. And of course, uh, the credits, otter model, me, overlays and panels, me, emotes, me, local. They, they do everything. They've done everything. Logo, loading screen, anime alerts, animated alerts, everything. So they are an artist that is doing a lot of their own stuff. Let's take a look at their stuff. Oh my God, they even did a buff one. Let's take a look at this one. This one's always good. Every, every week. Oh my god, this guy found me. This guy found me. Leave me alone. I don't have my sword. It's an unfair battle, you stinky. Uh -oh. I'm gonna block you with my door. Uh, then you can never go through, you big chunker thingy. You cannot pass through this door. Haha. <laughs> and then they died at the end. Ah, oh, that was a good one. Uh, I, oh, they had some kind of curse on them. That's probably how they died. Either that or they got hit through a wall, which happens sometimes in Minecraft. And let me send you to their YouTube channel. This is Cream Soda as well, Cream the Otter. And this is, of course, you know, some of their, their most recent things. They are um, not only placing regular videos on there. As of 13 days ago, they have some of the videos on there about uh, Game Is Not Safe, Animal Well, Moomin Valley, all these things. Uh, also, of course, they do seem to multi-stream, so you can catch their streams on there if you just want to catch one and see what it's all about. Thank you so much, Cream Soda, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. I do hope it helps you in your VTuber journey, and I hope it helps your growth. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.